Well, what can I say? I, as a canon lawyer, always thought I knew how bishops were appointed, elected. But about three months ago, I gave a talk to the Indian group here in Parramatta and a uh, dinner. Afterwards, June Barrett, I'm a parishioner at Parramatta, said to me, why aren't you a bishop? And I said, it doesn't work like that, June. You've usually got to be asked by the Pope. And I think what happened after that, the June rang up Pope Benedict. <laughs> this cannot be a coincidence, because a month later, I had a call from the Nuncio wanting to see me. It all flowed from that. My postgraduate studies in canon law was at the University of St. Paul in Ottawa. And the motto of the university was, let our past be part of your future. And I think that's uh, really true, that our past is very much part of who we are today and our moving into the future. Last week or so, I've had many calls from people. One priest of the diocese here said to me, in Thanksgiving, he wished to say thank you to me for that continuity that I have been in the diocese, continuity from the work of Bishop B, Bishop Kevin, Bishop Anthony. And I certainly am thankful myself for being able to watch these uh, great men and the work that they've done and their pastoral care for the people of Parramatta. And certainly they have been part of my story as you, the priests and people of the clergy, the religious, are part of my story in Parramatta. I'm thankful for that, and I am so privileged. I think for each of us who are priests, we are privileged because people invite us into their lives in a very special way. At moments of joy, of sadness at very uh, important parts of their life. It's not something we uh, ask for, but we are privileged, and indeed I've been privileged to be able to do that with so many people, and indeed with the people of the Diocese of Parramatta. I'm thankful for, indeed, the opportunities that I've had, clergy, religious, lay people of the diocese, opportunities to be with you in your parishes, in your various ministries. An opportunity to perhaps share uh, some of my knowledge, but also, perhaps more so, to, to learn from you, from each of you. The motto that I've chosen, which you'll see on the booklet there, is remain in my love. You may also notice the colors are, are blue and gold, but uh, perhaps that's not particularly Maybe I'm making a point in Toowoomba, but whatever. But it comes from that uh, wonderful chapter uh, 15 of St. John's Gospel, where we learn that the love of the Father is something that we experience. The gift of uh, Jesus to us all, uh, to us, that love for us. The call for each of us, as Bishop Anthony said in his homily there, it's a call that we receive uh, through our baptism. Be disciples. We are chosen, we are commissioned. To be friends with the Lord and indeed to love one another. My thanks to each of you. Indeed to Bishop Anthony for his words, for uh, the gifts there that you give to me, which I will use and remember uh, uh, very much the people of Parramatta for your being a part of my life. For the call of us, the special call for us to be involved, the call for us to remain in the love of the Lord, no matter where we are. Indeed, I ask for your prayers as I, I remember you as well, and take you with me as I continue this journey. Thank you to everyone. Thank you indeed for this day, for being part of my pilgrimage at 
as we continue this journey, that we do so with the Lord. May we each day remain in the love of the Lord.